Dr. Schultz uh, gave you the little introduction. I'm here to actually give you some tips. Um, the reason why they put me in this position, there's a little story behind it. Uh, probably if you read the latest issue of the journal, you know that. I've been through the fire three times to get it. And I can say that I might be more close to the fire than anyone in the department to tell you about the exam. When I say the fire, I, I mean intense. And um, just like any fire, you can train them to avoid being burned. Um, so, as Dr. Schultz told, told, told you recently, we haven't been doing too well for the sense. And for those, how many of those are actually doing the forward? Hands up? Okay, good. Um, there's no difference between the fall and the spring, um, except that the number of attendants, okay? But I'm here to actually share with you some tips in a way to how to cope with this. Okay, so the, the following six slides will be in the website, and just to refresh the memory, exactly at the data, I actually got it from the website to highlight what you're supposed to demonstrate today. So like any exam, I'm sure you guys can throw out exam and so I can see as a game. And if you didn't get it, tough luck, get it next time. Okay? But how to how to how to win the game or, or score in the game is really a matter of knowing the rules. Okay? So this is how it actually works. So in terms of measure can it problem solving skills and knowledge in the context of a clinical situation. And basic information regarding presentation of patient would be provided. <coughs> so that implies that it's not it's going to be a trick, okay? Everything should be there. And, and mind you, even though I haven't been uh, as exams, uh, except for SAMS, well, the story is after I passed, I've been doing the SUS exam since. So, but I haven't touched SAMS at all, so I have to do the standard display for that. Uh, there's no cause of interest. I'm not going to disclose anything that I'm not supposed to disclose, okay? Um, so there will be a stem, and then the basic information, like a storyline, and then you're supposed to answer three or four questions, okay, pertaining to the And when answering this question, please read the exam carefully and provide only the information that you need uh, that is requested. Now, I would say this is the kernel, this is the crux. No, you have to remember it, and you should, if you have a sleep talk, sleep talk about it. Read the, read the question carefully and provide only the information. <laughs> Now, personally, as, a, as my first attempt, I tend to write an essay. Okay, so don't. If ever you guys do the PubMed search, you know what I'm talking about. Do the MESH, okay? Once you've done the, once you've read the little passage, which shouldn't be more than four or five lines, highlight them, okay? Underline it, and then get in the head what on earth is going on. I mean, what are the MESH, what are the, what are the salient features, what are the keywords, and these are things that well, more or less, give you some clue and what kind of answer you will be giving. So for the most part, each question will require a single word, short phrase, or short list. Now, this is another thing you have to get into a spinal cord, okay? Single word, short phrase, and short list, not an essay. Doing an essay will not actually get you any point. In fact, we jeopardize you. Because as examiner, even though I'm not the examiner, but I have been checking some examiner, when you have conflicting yes and no uh, correct and incorrect answers in, the, in, 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 in what you wrote, how am I supposed to mark it? Okay? Even though they don't mark you down, but this is actually wasting your time. So decide on what single word, swing single phrase, or short list you are going to get into. And the whole exam will be six hours, okay? You know that it's usually in the morning and in the afternoon. So the timetable again I extracted from the site. This is what you guys will be put through. Everybody will have to do the SEMS either Thursday or Friday. And for those who are still doing the old format, by that I mean um, kind of, you know, uh, before the 2012, the same thing ha happens on Thursday and Friday. The only difference is the old format, they don't need to do the OSCE. And then they just do the Zoom. But then the new format, like everybody, uh, of like most, most people here will be doing next uh, spring will be kind of the OSCE on a Saturday, and then Sunday will be soup. And the other difference is, instead of five OS, uh, five suits, you have only four, okay? So basically, Sam's OSCE and soup. One other thing also I would like to um, mention, I know that it's not for a session, but don't actually try to 
ask your peers about what's going on before it's possible. Because some candidate will be doing the suit on the Saturday and they, they, they will be doing on Sunday and they know what's going on. This is going to again bias you. And um, I'm sure that everybody here trying to go through the process, by the time you finish the training, you have more than enough knowledge to cover the sense of the suit or the OSCE. So carry on with the instruction. When relevant, the settings in which you are practicing will be described. So it's not about being a specialist in hematology. Okay? It's all about being a family doctor. And you can answer the most in 10 words or less. So they, they, they want to hammer it in. Okay? Uh, the previous paragraph also mentioned that, but they also tell you 10 words or less. So it's a bit of a training how to be as sustained and terse as possible. Okay? Uh, out of communication. And I'm sure that if you sit down and think about it, okay? You guys are already doing daily, daily, daily soap milk. Okay, you try to be as simple as possible, as 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 precise, right? But only specific laboratory tests will be specific. Okay, CBC electrolyte paper powder are not acceptable. You must actually define it like that. Now this is the pain. This is the part of pain. Pain in back. You have to safeguard you. I I presume that because the first trial that. I got a double fail. I was doing all this, right? CBC, contraction, whatever, uh, PFT. So they are very anal, I'm sorry to say. We oh. need to actually spell out in, in full white blood cell count, potassium. Urinalysis is an acceptable answer. I know some of you guys might start to grow what, what about the ALT and ASC? Yes, sorry, you have to spell it. Again, for our diversity group, be specific. Okay, ultrasound, so I thought it was specific. Ultrasound, what? Okay. Again, just like flashing back to, uh, you want to search something from PubMed. Okay, if you put in the word ultrasound, 10,000. Abdominal ultrasound, 500. Okay, things like that. So you have to be specific, remember. Specific, precise, and to the point. Listing medication use, generic names will be accepted. Now they relax it a little bit before they actually um, make it vague, and then that's one reason why a lot of candidates fail. They would actually specify what is the family class. So when it's a family class, don't give them remember. Okay, uh, you see what I mean? All right. And then if they don't spe if they don't specify, I was aware that you are free to use the trade name or the generic name. Okay, but when they, um, yeah, sorry, I'm just a bit so the details of procedures only if directly to do so. So this is also a, a, a little bit for if you start to write an essay, you try to get every management under the sun, and then this is actually wasting your time. You won't get much. I think to be fair, you won't get penalized if you write the wrong thing. You just don't get mark. Okay, so stick to SI and avoid abbreviations, okay? It's okay to actually kind of write this uh, long form and then to put in parenthesis the, uh, the abbreviation if you want to. But if you're already uh, written down the long form, there's no need. One answer per box, don't hatch, okay? Don't arbitrate, okay? Because again, this is confusing, all right? Make up a mind. Now this is again very important. There are questions we all know in exam, they want to know the distribution curve and how skewed or how good or how bad you are. So there are some questions as we know it, it's a trick to put in some questions that you are not supposed to answer, you are not supposed to know. If you know you belong to the 2.5, the what standard deviation, right? Or there are one or two trick questions, not the whole stem, but one or two to test your courage, okay, so to speak. If you're pretty sure, they're pretty damn sure that in the whole three or four years of the training, even med school, this is none, say none, please. Okay, don't cut for your conscience and, and, and lie about it. This is, this is something that then, if, if, if you set any other answer apart from none, then you lost the point, okay? Now, as I said, I've been through this file three times, and as I sit, sit down and Reminisce of what I've done right and wrong. Then I will say that there are some common errors that I would like to share with you. That you guys 
hopefully after this lecture we won't actually be able to make extrinsic errors. Common. In the fit of the moment, everyone will be very anxious. Okay? And you tend to skip the passage. But please, for the love of God, don't actually rush. Okay? Because you are doing yourself justice to read. If you cannot understand the first time, read again. Okay? There should be ample time. And I think now you guys don't need to write uh, with your hand. In the very first attempt I had in, in, in 2010 for. I still have to write the answer, which is a pain because my handwriting is totally hopeless. And I, I, I bought it down my reason that I'm dead. You only time now, okay? Only time, okay? So, and there's a screen, and it's almost like the Oscar notes that you are doing the, the okay? So, I mean, basically, check it, all right? Failure to provide exactly what is expected or requested, exactly. Wolf, beat around the bush. Not answering, not to the point. Okay. I'm going to show you a little Chinese uh, kind of uh, saying. These two guys trying to make a little competition to draw a snake, and whoever win will have a, a pot of wine. So this guy finished first, good drawer, and he said, "Oh, I finished first, and uh, what should I do? You just look at it. Hmm. Perhaps I just add some something to it." And when the time comes, of course, the judge will say, this is not a snake, come on, you add legs to it. So of course, you lost. And for those who have uh, Chinese origin, we call it Wak Kim Jok, which means in English, carrying coal to Newcastle. You know the saying? You have a lot of coal in Newcastle, why do you carry it? But this is superfluous, redundant. If you have time, move on, or you actually can leave the exam. Uh, Early, as you like, right? you can actually go over it once. But don't try to tweak around and kind of you know modify the examination. You'll be surprised. I, I I tried to fish out that paper, but someone did a study that when you answer a barrage of questions and then you're given time to go over it and modify the question uh, the answers as, as you like. Most likely than not, the second round after you modify the question, your uh, you score less 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 response. So don't second guess. Usually the first answer straight from the head, from, from the heart, is usually correct. So intrinsic. Um, these things probably, hopefully, if you find any of this applied to you, then you have to, to improve. And um, it's about language problem, whether you understand, or talk about language, uh, English proficiency, uh, proficiency, lack of lack, um, lack of no knowledge in a way whether you actually know the topic well enough. Performance anxiety. Now this is something again you can be trained. Um, I hope as I talk to Dr. Schultz about that I might be sharing with you some 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 tips as for the Sioux. This will affect the Sioux more than the sense. So whenever you get anxious, you remember the curve, right? If you plot the level of anxiety, the y-axis is the um, uh, performance level, it actually drops. Okay? A bit of anxiety is good, we all know, but don't actually go for the hump. Paranoia and overguessing, this is what I'm talking about. Don't second guess, okay? By definition, you guys would be good enough to pass the exam, and what can only possibly make you fail is yourself. Okay? The demon in inside. <laughs> Lack of confidence, be prepared to say none when no treatments are required. I actually been through it a few, few times, okay? This. You know, every every uh, every one of the sounds are been true, and I said, "Oh, that's e, uh, that's a e, easy plan. I can actually score that one." It's a test of your courage and confidence. So keep calm and don't think too much. It's simple. Leave it not. And I say no. Okay. So it's no in the sense that say none. Okay. If it's none, say none. And to summarize my official views, the aim of the SAMS is to pass as many candidates as possible, believe it or not. Okay. Um, I, uh, one candidate just asked me, uh, what is the passing rate of SAMS? I don't actually know, even though Oscar uh, Oski is, is new. But I do know that the SUS across the board will be 85% or so, 85 to 999 And those who, 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 who fail the SUS, basically, they are so anxious, they just found it. And to distinguish strong case from the pool, 
um, basically, if you um, uh, encounter <coughs> one question, you can answer. Remember that the, you are not probably you're not supposed to answer them. No idea. Move on. All right, because there are at least forty or fifty questions you have to answer. So, uh, not doing one question one is just two percent of mark. This is very important. So, the uh, the only thing you can be paranoid about is to go over the ninety nine topic. Okay, really religiously study. Okay, and this is the kind of curve I, I brought in to show you. Usually, the uh, performance would like that, and then. Depending on the actual performance, it might kind of you know um, adjust the passing rate to actually make it conform. It's not a very um, perfect uh, you know uh, dis distribution usually is skewed. And if you can answer the questions, that most people can answer because you belong to him. But most people want to aim for pass. All right. Any any questions so far? I'm using, I'm going, going, going to go through some test drive and uh, feel free to shout out the answers. Um, they are not supposed to be content specific. As I declare, I have nothing to do with SAMS. But, and I'm not putting in any any of these following questions that I remember that actually came from the real examination, so don't get disappointed. But this to, to, to drive home the point, okay? So something like that is a stand standard, okay? And I just checked that the old questions I'm going through is not in two, in one piece. So, we can read it all together. Remember, you man came to confess his school on day washing his hands, also worried about his health problems almost every minute. He felt silly about his thoughts and actions and was ashamed to talk about this. And he took all, some over the counter medication with no relief. He was not on any medication. Very simple, straightforward. A scenario that will work through it for any day. Right? So, so what will be your keywords? Young man confessing, spend on washing his hands. So this is the salient feature. Worried, excess about health. But he has insight, right? He felt silly. I want to talk about it, okay? And he tried some of the company and was not on any medication. So sorry. this is the thing that I highlight. High, high so now you were supposed to you hope you get it from OCD, but they say that oh, you, you know, already suspect that diagnosis of OCD. Name three symptoms just support the diagnosis. See, it's almost like testing your English pro proficiency. If you go back, it's all there, isn't it? What are the symptoms of all? What are the diagnostic criteria? Repetitive kind of, of obsessive behavior. Okay, and then kind of let's see the um, answer. Obsession about health problems, compulsion. That's where the OCD comes from. Obsession, uh, obsession and compulsion, and inside the So that's it. Got three points. Three psychiatric comorbidities are frequent or OCD. Three. Sorry. Three. Anxiety, depression. Yeah. Uh, okay. And. Thank you. And so anxiety, uh, depressive, dis uh, sort of mix and anxiety, the depression might be hatching a bit. You might as well say major depressive disorder, panic disorder, social phobia, something like that. Okay? I think those who actually cannot see probably may actually like to move on. I'm always in So, oops. He was asking about taking medication. I mean, what would be the suggested treatment? Okay. Of course, you'll be doing it day in, day out. Okay. So we know the answer to this. <coughs> now, three months later, John was much better with your suggested treatment. You guys decided to take him on the medication. What class? Huh? <coughs> what is it? Food. Don't forget the sound. All right. They take contraction. They scream at you for contraction. Don't use contraction. <laughs> this is the thing you have to really know. You know, selective serotonin reuptake. Okay. Okay. You do another one here. This in terms of only partial group. What would be your next step? So usually it's like that. I find it quite consistent to share with you. All the same question is, is is a story unfolding in front of you, and then a certain checkpoint they ask you, what will you do? What are your thoughts? As exactly what you are doing every day. Which is the facts. Yeah. Okay? 
So, what would be your next step? You start team on SSI not responding. Well, not 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 responding, but partially improved. Three. Up. Go up, okay, and? Adjunct. Adjunct, yeah. Uh, usually, oh, if they don't actually ask you what, how many answers you are supposed to give, it, there's a single line, it's by implication you just want one answer, okay? So, and the answer's all right, and that's, that's, that's the answer, okay? <coughs> Sorry, let me just show you. So the edit answer SSRI, or you uh, presumably you maximize the uh, dose of the first med medication, you can add something else, promethamine, fentaxin, myrtaxin. Okay. So second, <coughs> Sam, general scenario. 20-year-old lady, for example, injured knee, played in the basketball tournament the night before and twisted her knee while doing a pivot. She heard a pop and was instantly in pain. She could barely walk and was helped to repeat to the changing room. The knee started to swell badly and has kept her awake. <coughs> All right, instantly do this, okay? Young lady, right knee, twisted, in pain, could barely walk, swell quite badly. Any thoughts? <laughs> What is ACM? Yeah. See? <laughs> Anterior cruciate ligament, please. <laughs> they are so... Oh, sorry, I'm being taped, so I don't want to sway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like this. I mean, this is just brilliant. Anyway. Um, this three points in the history, that's a positive diagnosis. So go back to the history. Yeah. Uh, swelling, but is it specific for A A A C L? Yeah. Anything else? Oh yes, I I, I got it. Yeah. Non contact cavity injury. <coughs> Audible hot sound, early swelling, as compared to day swelling, which is meniscal tear. All right. Inability to continue activity, as, as in the case of your collateral and posterior ligament tear, you can continue. So, <coughs> if you don't know this answer, don't worry, you still have a kind of eight months to to go, and hopefully, <laughs> you'll know the answer by now. <laughs> but three, okay? Um, usually, you have a choice of a few. Alright, two maneuvers. Oh, come on, easy job. Sorry? Pivot shift, thank you. Yeah. They are asking for specific names. Remember the MES section. Uh, really specific name. Uh, pivot shift is one, I understand. And any other thing you would like to do? Interior. Uh, yeah. Let me test, right? Is it? It's the same. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, a uh, if a person receives a sur surgical repair, now this is a bit of sur surgery there. You are supposed to to be able to know that, okay? So, these are the things that you said. Do you know the activities in which to resume to squat in activity? Alright? So, feel free to stop me if you find it too intense, any questions that you want to ask. So, on the test, try three. Young, um, mother was visible in terms of breastfeeding. She's worried about that one week old baby is not feeling well. Again, come and look down and see, right? Alright. So, 24, a 28 year old lady, kind of uh, first time mom, probably. And one week old baby is not feeling well. So, how often should the newborn be fed? Yeah. So it's not written in stones. I think I, I would I would accept that eight to twelve depends on the on the on the child, right? So notice the baby lost some weight since the child was in hospital. What is the criteria for weight not to be discerning? Exactly. They will know the answer. Feel feel courageous and feel certain to put it down. Okay. Sometimes the answer will be that simple. Okay. Now, if you're sitting certain they tell the answer if you could stop the medication due to breastfeeding, what would your answer be? Certain and eternal. 
bit of a trick, tricky question. Mm. What do you think? Now, one other thing I would like to tell you, um, I think you can go back. In the real, the good thing about uh, the uh, computer exam is once you click the page, it's always a able to, to go, you're always able to go back and you can flag it. So you don't know it, move on. Don't ponder over it for 10 minutes and it's going to waste your time, okay? If you are not sure, just move on. <coughs> the answer is, a channel law is supposed to be doing more harm than, uh, than this, okay? But cer certain is extreme in investment, but the levels are very minimal. So in, 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 in real life, you most likely uh, can keep her on the uh, SSR. Now, let, let me return a week later with painful right breast. What a full differential diagnosis. Yes. 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 anything else? Sorry? Breast and gorge, I like that, yes. And? Crack in the nipple. Incorrect latching is one. Crack nipple, milk and gorgement, mastitis, breast abscess. You got it. In, in between you guys, you've got all four. All right? So it's quite fair. Okay? Some, some of the time, um, sometimes you can actually carry your working knowledge in the exam, but it doesn't actually guarantee you, guarantee you a pass. That's what I did the first time. What if you put uh, five answers and one of them is wrong? I suggest not, not doing that. <laughs> well, if you get all four, I, I think the wrong answer will be a no. But why? Take the first four. Yes. Yes, that's true. That's true. So if you actually have the have the wrong one there, then tough luck. So stick to the rule. I mean, anyone play golf know that you don't actually do a maneuver which is not right. Okay. Do you get partial um, I can't answer that question. Honestly, I don't think you would know. No. It's a yes, yes, it's a yes, and no. Thanks. Okay, so, ha, I like that. Occasionally, you'll be scared out of your wits. Then do a service and interview a random sampling. What are the possible biases in random sampling? Name three. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I were you, just move on, okay? If you are really good at PhD in, in research, right? Go ahead. So these are the biases. And undercover bias, selection bias, non-response bias, response bias. Non bias. This is a survey, okay? You, you talk about putting a survey and what are the biases. Undercover means that there's an area that you don't send the survey to. Selection means that you are selecting some kind of patient instead of the other, blah, blah, blah. And then it went on. Then proceed to decide the question. Some remind of need to demonstrate internal consistency. Statistical so measures are used to show internal consistency. Okay, just one. Prop by L for efficient average in interim with coordination. I remember there was one question in the second attempt. Which is still fair. Ask me about telling your sample size. I said, what? I like, check the computer and said, is this really the exam I'm taking? Anyway, so I move on, right? Okay, so, five. Ten is a whole food field. Obese lady has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. He's currently not, not taking any medication, and he's hesitant about taking pills. In fact, you would like to avoid taking medications altogether. So what lifestyle recovery can you recommend? Two. So, newly diagnosed diabetic. How specific is diet? Yes. Well, let's see. Okay. Try to be as specific as possible. But I guess that, you know, um, because when you say exercise, you have a point. What is the criteria for effective exercise? They want you to demonstrate that. Okay. Go for that. And, and it would be quite dangerous to just say diet. You have to say that low fat reduce calorie, calorie diet. Okay? This is the art of nutrition. They want you to be as artful as possible. Weight loss. All right. So after three months of lifestyle changes, ten changes, ten-year fasting, sugar, and uh, HVAC will worsen by fifty percent. So you start. You go to start her on some medication. What will be your first choice and why? Come on, everybody. Yes. 
Come on. Easy point for you. And why? Okay? So, suppose you sold out for Bishop in Pedro, Thomas, and Tapu Dabu. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, there are three other popular degrees, and just read it. Name them three, okay? So they move on to actually ask you the three popular drugs of choice. So the Salvanao Urea, and the non Salvanao Urea Secret Box, and the others. Where it says, where it says, Jesus is the popular drug in Urea, not specifically the class. Would you just say, oh God? Yes, yes, yes. This is the their fault if they did not specify the class or whatever. So they will allow you to use the trade name. Because we practice it in family doctors know the trade name better than the class, okay? Um, I think they relaxed it um, <coughs> kind of not long ago, but in, I still remember in the first first attempt I had, I have to really learn all the classes. You're supposed to have to name the class that want to change generic, not the trade name. They don't like the trade names. And now they relax the room. Uh, uh, probably not. Probably not. Um, you are talking about like Dimitron and uh, yeah, yeah. Well, obviously this is a base question, right? And it's not supposed to be the real same question you have. Okay. So, um, but I'm sure in the real in the real life they try to make it as as unambiguous as. So six months later, fasting through this, this, and then already the maximum what will you do now? So of course it's initiate treatment. Ah, guidelines. You have to know your guidelines as well as much as you know your parents. <laughs> Hopefully you know your parents well, right? <laughs> so, and there are sometimes some tricks to it. And the reason why they say 2012, this. This is the Pedemon guidelines from the Canadian Cardiovascular Society. Anyone aware of the 2009 instead of 2012? There are some changes. Okay, so at what age you start screening lipids for healthy males and female? 40 for males. Thank you. They actually lower the threshold, right? Before it's not that young. So, name six patient groups that should be screened regardless of age. <laughs> Okay, yeah. It's a long list, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, tip any six is actually extracted from the uh, CCS website. Okay. But apart from the usual ones that you know hypertension, diabetes, family history of hypertension, erectile dysfunction, chronic brain disease, some of the less, weird, less, less kind of popular ones like obesity. Okay, and even the abdominal okay. You would ask what happens if I just score four out of six, you got four points, okay? Fair, fair enough, that's the best you can do. Now what blood test do we do to screen? Easy job, yeah. Can you include if you're starting like certain medications you screen like as well? Like can you include that? Um I suppose you do. I suppose you do. Sorry, what was it? Like, 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 yeah, yeah, I think so. But the idea is, the whole idea is to really read the guidelines. Try not to sway away from it. If the guideline gives you 12, and they expect you to know at least four or five. But I, I do get your point. In the heat of the moment, I personally cannot remember anything. Okay, but try our best. Right, so these are things you do again extracted from the uh, 2012 guideline, and they specifically include apoprotein B in this time, 2012. But these are the usual things that you normally do. So if you can do it with five, usually that, that you have been doing, then that's very, very helpful. And also urine supplements. So this is actually taken from the this paper there, who which actually talk about this. You know, patient group and the criteria and how to screen. Sometimes the question is just simple, simple, okay? And you want to make sure that as a competent family doctor with your CCLP practicing on your own, you are supposed to know a guideline. 
right now. All right, a bit longer history there. Um, I'm going to help you a little bit. <laughs> Basically, it's about seven year, a seven month old daughter with two days history of unwell irritable irritability and low brain temperature pulling in her left ear, and then had one episode of otitis media, and this episode was solved with amoxicillin. Immunization of today on examination, febrile, thirty eight point one. Cries when you examine her, but since you started well. The right to pain memory is normal left is either clematis, remain remind of the remain of the uh, and then the hydrogen is normal. Okay. So what modifier of free factors will class me with health? Yeah. This free so smoking or <coughs> parents, yeah. Sorry? Yes. All of heating up? Yeah. And the rest. Okay? So again, this are the working this diva, the current closest is still gonna be carrying around. Okay, what you need to do is just calm down, flash back to your normal day in day out clinic ex exposures and then you can actually know what No, so now the moment we're about dressing, we need ventilation <coughs> tube. So the child rather required them at the age three. What indication for uh, a year no and top control for ventilation tube? See how obsessed <laughs> that they won't even use the DNT. Ventilation <laughs> tubes, and what would you discuss with Mr. Stock? <laughs> so, what are the criteria for a ventilation tube? Sorry? Speak up. Yeah. 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 There are some specific more than three of so I better partner should write or tires me immediately. Three a kill tires media in six months. You feel so tires media for more than six months. And then hearing loss, speech development for both of those. All right, so far, any comment, any questions? I try to go through as many as possible, okay? Um, but again, they are not content specific, just to give you the idea of what can actually uh, come, come, come up in the format, okay? So, I'll go to the and protect the subtraining course, and whether she, uh, for those who can prevent pregnancy with a pill, no allergy, no medication. As you consider prescribing the morning after pill, what is the most important question you ask, Richard? Yes. Thank you. So basically, I'm asking you guys to actually be simple, right? When was the intercourse? These are the things that not. Well. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can. Children not, you know, I'm say children, but teenagers start to smoke at 12. Uh, same. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the idea is to really, the trick is state one, okay? You are not, you are not going to, to be allowed to stay three. So state one, you sit down and say, oh, smoking, whether it's non consensual, whether there could be sexual abuse or rape or. I should be thinking something else. Oh, hey, what is the most important question? Whether I can actually still prescribe her the morning of the pill. Thank you. Okay, so what's the most common side effect of those coital con 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 Okay, so again, I'm going to show you the possible answers. Oops. So these are the possible side effects, but if you look at it, by occurrences, nausea by far is the most common. So there, there might be some built-in trick in the way to test the knowledge of the to a certain level. So, so, so to speak, if you write down vomiting, they might not give you the point. All right, I need to help you a little bit. Eighty-two-year-old lady, mild disorientation, decreased appetite. You know what? I might actually skip this. 
I'll start. Yeah, I like this one. I like skin. Skin conditions come up, okay? And hopefully if you guys have uh, this questions and you know it's a piece of cake. 30 year old lady, uh, very nice terrific eruption, and then okay, I'll come to the natural limbs and there for a few years, no fever. You observe grass crack, erythematous plant like lesions on the trunk that feel around. Some lesions are silvery white scales on the surface, and some are already lesions of people that come take bleeding. Okay, so thoughts? Easy. Psoriasis huh? or eczema? Psoriasis. It causes silvery white scales, not itchy, and it's been there for quite some time. And a pounded bleeding face, that's an auspicious sign when you actually lift up a silvery scale of bleed. Okay, that's the actual name of the sign. Yeah, just call the point. So, what would you like to obtain from the history? Name five. Now, that's a bit of a dangerous song. Don't, you can actually write a lot, but again, be specific and, 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 and concise as possible. Family history, drug history. Treatment try, joint involvement, ice involvement, smoking, alcohol intake. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to show you this. Yeah, alright. So, what are the trigger factors? Psoriasis, bacterial infection, physical trauma, medications, cigarette smoking, stress. Um, cold weather, right? So, what possible medication would you consider for Julia for treatment of psoriasis? Hmm? Yes. Do we see what you have? Anything else? Vitamin D analog, or you can name the term calcitonin. Yeah. Topical corticosteroids. You have to well. Probably you get by to score a point, but if even better, you are confident enough to say that a strong pull, 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 and pull, uh, potent is yours. So, so uh, yeah. for you, you'd be therapy. I thought about it, but it's a medication. Like, yes. <laughs> well, um, you be, yeah, that's, 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 that's true. Yeah, not think, think, think anymore. I'll just get this somewhere. So, I, I personally agree that these might not be the answer you like to see, but. Pay attention to the biologics, the scalera, you know that, okay? And then the camera. Okay, so you still have four there. Six. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's good. There's no six, is Oh, okay, fine. So, a uh, 57 year old lady with hyperplasmolemia start taking a total satin. Come to see with severe cramps, weakness of the thighs and legs, which was another severe exercise. And she's uh, 145 in high 46 in weight, takes lethal thyroxin, ASA, and meogerol. And she also took acetomycin for, uh, for chest infection. So she drinks four units of alcohol a day. So the question is if you suspect a statin related myopathy, what the body test would you do to confirm a screw? Yeah, you learn, not CK. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was my bad. Uh, so electro, my my model brand, yeah, EMG. Uh, Erythros, Erythros has sedimentation rate. Sorry, I was doing it uh, up to one one minute. So, what about Because you are talking about statin related myopathy, it's the muscle. Yeah. Right? That's right. So don't don't start to Yeah. Okay? You resist the temptation. <laughs> what about um, renal failure? Yeah, maybe. No? Yeah. We are talking about exclude and the diagnosis. Okay? And the is not right? Or, or do you consider that a lab test like it? Yeah. Just to know. Yes. Okay. Okay. But if not EMG, what else can you think of as a test to, to exclude or confirm myopathy? Uh, 
Topsy? Well, yeah. Yeah. You can actually put Topsy at the end. Yeah. It doesn't say how it basically begins. Okay, so name three risks for the uh, saturated myopathy. Facial razor factors and two medication razor factors. So we have advanced age, small build, female gender for the patient specific factors, and hypothyroidism, and high alcohol usage. And then you have uh, medication related factors, high dose, and also concurrent use of macrolides. So these are quite specific knowledge in a way. Hopefully that. Again, not to imply that this kind, this exact content will come out, but somehow you have to read into it. The thing I, I share is, um, I am going to share you now. The final attempt I had, which get me a pass, is really I get so paranoid and and and, and religious about the 99 P area. So I actually go to up to date, even so some PubMed pay paper to actually fill in the gaps. Okay, so don't try to leave any stones unturned. We can talk about it. So usual trick trigger, as I said, is strenuous exercise here. And then consistent with other statin the lower risk of myopathy. So what are the other statin lower risk? Do you know that? Anything but the first statin. Yeah. So what are the lipid medication? I, I would say that in real life you would be asked this question more than this, in a way. So if you consider switching medication, what would you do for a patient? Like other than a statin? Sorry? You mean, you mean like other than a statin? Yes. What are the lipid lowering medication? This is implying that you move away from the statin. Is it wrong? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Shown to have any positive endpoints you. you are quite courageous there, but when they say three, it means three. If the question is, would you consider other medication for the patient, then you can say none. But when they say three, it means three. Okay. So play the rule of the game, play according to the rule of the game. Um, I, I think I'm not that sort of So I'll leave some uh, some time for the questions and um last but not the least I not tooting my horn but uh have a good read. Um I'm good I, I I actually told you a story how I actually got it after three trials and if anyone have been success unsuccessful ever then don't feel bad because you can't possibly be worse than me. Okay? So, um, any questions? This actually is still in the current issue. Um, the idea I convey is I was quite careless in the first time. I thought I knew most of the things, but of course I don't. I knew vaguely the guidelines, but you know, all, all often as we always do, we just go to the website and get the guideline. But you guys are supposed to carry the guidelines with you and then Things, I guess, so this is one thing I, I have found which um, I have to improve until I pass. Second thing is be specific about the rules of the game. Don't use contractions. Okay? When they say no family class, give the family class. Third thing as I share with you, move on. If you get stuck, okay, you have uh, 60, 70 questions to answer, so move on. And finally, don't second guess. Okay? So don't second guess yourself. By the time you sit in a in, in, in candidate chair, you already know most of this stuff. And um, as precise as concise as possible. All right. Remember, the rule of the game is less than ten words. Okay. And also, single answer, single answer. If there's a blank, don't give them three answers in one blank. All right. Any questions? The Sam's honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, 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 as I said, ever since passing in two thousand eleven, four, I. Uh, just doing this zoom a, a, a exam. But for those, I can actually ask around that it changes. But the bottom line is if you read the last paragraph of what I wrote, I do personally feel that amidst all the stress and all the possible negative emotions, I do think that I've been put through a very fair assessment. Okay, fair in the sense that it's very consistent. 
never change, the rules never change, it's just that you're not good enough. Or you, you, you just said you have not been careful enough to follow the rules. And the second thing is, yeah, they kept the standards so good in the way that they make sure if you pass the exam, you're good enough to practice on your own in the coming university world. Right? And after all, it's a, it's a joy and a pride to be endorsed in CCLP. If you ask me, I've got other qualifications from UK and, and, and Australia, then of course I was a bit younger, 20, 20 years ago. But I still find this exam in our country very fair, and it's concentrating a lot on the patient-doctor relationship in a way, and how you make sense out of the daily practice, practice day in, day, day out. So basically, you, you, you just be yourself, especially when I come to the Sula, I have some time to share with you the tricks of the Sula, which is totally different game. Okay. But for the SAMs, as I said, read the, the material that Dr. Schultz is going to give you, and also go to, you know, either use the MNCC book, the Toronto book, or the up-to-date as I did, and then go cover every single 99 topics as listed in the cultural side. If you have any questions as to what exactly the uh, the key topic name mean, you can actually feel free to come to me and then I can actually try to discuss with you. Any questions? Yes? We have preparation for <laughs> Good question. Uh, it's actually a new thing. It just came on last session. Um, the OSCE will be just like the OSCE that you guys have been doing, I think. Um, more or less, I'm not going to guess because I'm uh, being taped, right? <laughs> Most likely, I, I can promise you, I can ask us around. I, I will send you an email and, 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 see what, uh, and see what I can do. But. Um, Basically, we test testing your skills, testing your skills, like even practical skills, even kind of interpretation of um, results and, 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 and things like that. Almost like the med school or OSCE. Okay. So, any questions? Yes. Last college meeting that I went to, which Jackie was the last, my last one I went to before that, we always meet with uh, the guy, the guy who's in charge of doing a lot of the examinations. Yeah. Traditionally, family medicine residents, when they had the separated exam, passed the LSD part two grade of about ninety eight percent, which skews the overall pass rate of that exam up in time. The season Sam when we had the separated exam, we passed at about a rate of about seventy five to eighty five percent, varying a little bit each year. Yeah. The last I heard from the combination exam, people were passing the OSCE at about the same rate, mm -hmm. and they stressed the type of level of college that when you're doing preparation for the combined exam to focus on your season exams, um, because OSCE is really and you're doing like not, not to ignore them, but to really focus on the 99. Um, and I, when we did do the first, the first year of the combined exam, the, the fail rate was no different than they did to the CCP exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're still looking at that sort of 75 to 80% yeah. pass rate. Yeah, which is not bad. Now, may I just, may I also take this last three minutes to, to share with you some tips uh, in case I don't have the um, chance to actually share with you. For the Sioux, right, um, it's been a consistent theme that in the last few times that I have been examiner, we actually suggest that you have to be very um, consistent with your own flow. Okay, and please don't actually ask what's your second question at the 10, uh, 10 seconds after you sit down. Don't do that because it's not really, it's not only annoying, but we are trained not to actually give it out to you. Because at the 7 minute prompt, the second problem will come to you. Sorry, the 10, the 10 minute prompt. So don't actually say that, okay, uh, Mr. So and so, I'm here to help you, but okay, I hear that you have this, but what is your second problem? No. <laughs> Most likely you won't get it. Please don't. Please don't. Pick up a year is a ten minute, and then, and, and then we are obliged to actually give you this the, the, the second problem in case you didn't get it. If you get it, then we don't actually give the prompt. The seven minute prompt may also clarify is is there for you as a safe as as a kind of distractor sometimes, and also as a safety net. Okay, if you have a, have not covered the management of the first issues that we prompt you. The way I say is distractor because sometimes the seven minute we will also flash you back, and then it's testing your skills. 
and then what I would like to share with you guys is, okay, I hear you loud and clear, but may I just finish what I'm doing now and then I'll come back to that, okay? And a bit different from what Dr. Schultz just told you, um, I personally would like to see candidates doing the context integration, okay? Most candidates fail because they don't context integration. Unless you do it in a perfect way, you integrate it with whatever you have been, been doing, but at four and a half minutes, you can say that, okay, uh, now that I've heard the story from you, may I just uh, take some time and summarize what you've told me in your, in a proper context? All right. I've been sitting there usually every session going through 12 can candidates. I actually don't know. Sometimes, sorry, I should say that. There's a danger. There's a danger that the candidates might doze off. So if you say that, this candidate is doing context integration, wakey wakey, all right? <laughs> And then at three minutes, you can say that, okay, now that, okay, is, is, there, is, is there any problem for you to follow what I, um, sorry, uh, sorry. And, and then after, the, after doing the context integration, you can say that, okay, now that I have uh, summarized the facts and you find them correct, now I'm going to move on to tell you what I have in mind for management. Okay, now stop me anytime if what I've said does do not agree with you. Common ground. If you do that, then guarantee the point. And then you go on with first problem and then be repetitive. Second problem, now for the second issue, again, I'm going to tell you what I have in mind. Again, stop me if any of what I said do not agree with you. You already, by definition, get a common ground the, the unit 6 experience there. Okay? And I, I, I have to say the last, um, the last uh, session I've been examining Hamilton, I was quite surprised that the IMGs actually did much better than CMT. Obviously, IMGs have probably, they have been to some Zoom training workshops, and I have been to, I have been to two of them, and this is what I actually take care of. FYI, I actually passed a Zoom the second attempt, but unfortunately, I cannot retain the segments, so I have to do both segments again in the third attempt. But by the time I did the Zoom in the third attempt, I knew pretty well that I sailed through because I knew the rule of the game in, in a way. Okay, rule of the game is be yourself, okay? Don't be contrived, okay? If possible, don't use the five. What's your feeling about this? What's your ideas? Package it in a way that makes sense to you, okay? Like, okay, have you got any thoughts about it? Um, how, have you been fee uh, how have you been fee feeling about this? And um, what would you like me to do for you? Things like that. So I hope I have another chance to share with you this. And um, again, like the sense I told you, Sue is a bit of a game. The game is you know, if you know how to play the game, you certainly pass. Okay, and it's ever so stressful not to pass, but again, it's a stress. It can't possibly be worse than that. Okay, so I hope I have shared with you enough pearls of wisdom for the day. Any questions? Yes. Yes. Um, how many not for the two stations? How many non certificates do you get to pass that session? Oh, you, you mean N N C? One five from two five social. It's hard to say. It's hard to say because. Uh, um, I haven't actually confirmed it, but basically, my understanding is the if you ever have superior certificate grades, you actually more or less neutralize the NC. That's what I've been telling you, the rest of it. And by definition, you don't need 100% certificate level to pass, okay? So again, like the sense, if you got stuck, if you screw up some, move on, okay? Open another door and then meet another new patient, so to speak, okay? And finally, finally, may I say, again, when it comes to the Sioux, you guys already, by definition, have the skills to pass. Be yourself, okay? For those who, who would uh, speak to me, I also insist this one thing, connection is very important. And the quickest and dirtiest way to fail is to have your own list of questions and to ask the patients and, and fire at them all the direct questions. Listen to the patient, uh, listen to the patient examiner. Even though the patient is a hawk, right? Okay, we define ourselves as hawk and doves. They will be there to pass, believe it or not. But just for, for the love of God, again, please listen to them. Listen to them. Be yourself. Okay, flashback to the moment you were in clinic. Okay? And then, and then just listen to them. Give them some time to actually tell you what's going on. Alright? So, any other questions? I do, I do really hope that I can actually have some time to share with you what Assume uh, now it's not a proper problem. Hope, hope, uh, hopefully it's not a problem. But it's not a Any 
Questions? Okay, I have finished on time. Spelling wrong? Spelling wrong? Uh, unfortunate for the Sams. Unfortunately, they will insist on the correct spelling. But I mean, if you if you sit down and 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 spell out the contractions that you usually use, I think it only amount to twenty or thirty or so. Just recite them, just learn, just learn them. Those that you haven't been using the wrong form, just write it down and then look at it, and you have a lot of time to to do it. Okay, so I hope it helps. Um, anyone who would like to ask more questions, feel free to send me an email. Okay. I'm going to get the rest of the